Not one person is as pissed as me! Clear-cut decision for Augustus, but let's see how Tony Rockman will spit it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 great rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for our decision. Judge Ed Mosley scored the bout 97-92. Judge Robert Paganelli scored the bout 99-90. And Judge Jack Richard scored the bout 98-94. For a split decision, the winner from Benton Harbor, well, Michigan. Well, wait a minute here. First of all, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this is terrible. This is disgraceful. First of all, they said a split decision. I they said a split decision. I mean, and it's not a split decision. This, this, this is a travesty here. This is terrible. Look, this guy August is acting like a clown tonight. But he also acted like a fighter. He also fought like a fighter. And he won this damn fight. All right. This is a disgrace. Listen, Teddy, I just grabbed the score sheet from the ring This is a disgrace here. Here, this should be an investigation. This is what's wrong with boxing. This is what chases our great fans away from this great sport. Official Jack Richards had it 98-94 for Emmanuel Augustus. Okay? Had it 98-94 for Emmanuel Augustus. The other two ringside judges, 99 to 90 for Courtney Burton, 97 92 for Courtney Burton for a split decision. My only question is when. My only question, and they wrote hey, buddy, down. Get out of here. It's not a majority decision. This is mine. Okay. It is a majority. If it's a majority decision, where's the draw? Not, where's the draw? Where's the draw for a majority decision? Our official here is telling us wrong. Where's right, the draw? We have Michigan if officials going nuts decision, on us ringside. Be They've score. got it wrong. How come you don't have an even score? That's not a majority you're, decision. You're telling me it's a majority decision. Do you know the rules of boxing? No, it's only a majority decision if there was an even score. There's no even score here. You're an official, right? You're an official of the state. Well, then you don't understand how to score. You're, because you're, this is not the way you have it here. It's a split decision. It's not a majority decision. A majority decision. You're wrong. All right? All right, you understand that you're wrong. This official here in Michigan is telling me, and he's admitting that he's wrong. Can we fix this now? Because the wrong guy got the decision. Can we fix this? Well, actually, Teddy. No, no, I know. I know as far as the scorecard. Really, no, this I got to tell you, the right guy didn't get the decision. This is But it's the way it's just written up. You got two judges voting, of course, for the local guy, Burton. And, and we really believe, down to our toes, that that is an awful travesty. That is bad for boxing. That is terrible. But you as an official, you've been honest enough to admit that you didn't understand. You came and you told us it was a majority decision, and you were wrong. It's a, it's a split decision, and you know what? It's, you know what? I'm talking to you, the official. It's a shame. All right, it's a split folks. decision, but it's a shame. Zab is just waiting to counter punch right now. He's waiting for that a real opportunity. Oh, and there's a low blow by Floyd. That was a low blow. And Richard Steele pulls Zab to the off of Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Mayweather is badly hurt by the low blow. And now Roger Mayweather wants to come after Zab. And now Leonard Ellerby wants Noel to. And a riot is going to break out in the ring. <laughs> All enforcement authorities in the ring to try to break it up. Bunch of hotheads in there. It's going to be up to the police and local security to try to stop the madness that is going on in the ring. Shades of Riddick Bowe and Andrew Galata. Roger Mayweather, Roger Mayweather triggered that, believing, I believe, that Judah deliberately punched him low because he was taking such a savage beating. Absolutely. And that was the wrong thing for him to do. He will definitely be fined. He may be, he may be thrown out of the fight. I'm talking about Roger Mayweather triggering this fuss here and unfortunately taking people's minds off the fact 
that Floyd Mayweather was doing a masterful job Brilliant. in the ring. Let's take a look at what happened. There's the low blow. And I'm afraid you can see why Roger Mayweather might have thought what he thought. And then he hit Floyd on the back of the head as well. So there's the, there's the body blow, which was right on the cup. Here's the right hand to the back of the head. And this is part of why Floyd Mayweather's uncle, Roger Mayweather, reacted the way he did. Yeah. What do you think, Lennox? Be honest. Was it an intentional low blow? Was that intentional? Well, the punch in the back of the head was definitely intentional. And a horrible foul, right? Yeah, it's a bad, it's a bad foul. This is why you have to always protect yourself in, in boxing. Yeah, and, and it's also a street move. If I can't beat you one way, I'll get you another way. It's going to be interesting scoring, Tim. You know, do you, like, do you like the plotting guy or do you like the flash? scores the bout. 115, Marvin Hagler. 113, Ray Leonard. <laughs> Judge Jojo Guerra scores the bout. 118, Leonard. 110, Hagler. And Judge Dave Moretti scores. 115, 113 by the winner by a split decision and new champion of the world, second Ray Lindner. I know you're incredibly disappointed. What what's your feeling about the decision? I beat him. I beat him, and he knows it. Everybody knows. I knew it was too close. I told you about Vegas. No, right. way, no, no way about it, you know. Marvin, he also said that you had K&O in your right hands. You hoped it wouldn't go this far. Well, you know, I figured I was beating him good, you know. Oh, geez. Now, how about the first two rounds? Gil and I thought that you really gave away the first couple of rounds by boxing in the uh, orthodox style. I stayed aggressive. I took everything he had. I made him fight. Come on, I took the, I won the fight. Well, I know you're tremendously disappointed, but it was a tremendous show, Marvin. This was more than anybody ever expected in terms of a great championship fight. Will you come back? Will there be more for you, Marvin? Will you, will you consider another fight with this one being so close? with a friendship on hold. Paul Briggs, three and a half years in boxing retirement in the red and white trunks. He is going to come out headhunting. And Briggs is down for a body shot. Than me, and I can't say sorry for that person 
He ain't even a canine. He's not even a canine.